Now, who's regulated by the SPCC regulations? Before a facility is subject to the SPCC rule, it must meet three criteria. It must be non-transportation related, and it must have an aggregate above ground storage capacity greater than 1,320 gallons or a completely buried storage capacity greater than 42,000 gallons. Number three, there must be a reasonable expectation of a discharge into or upon navigable waters of the United States or adjoining shorelines. Who prepares the SPCC plan? This is very important. Preparation of the SPCC plan is the responsibility of the facility owner or operator, or it can be prepared by an engineer or consultant, but it must be certified by a registered professional engineer. By certifying the SPCC plan, the professional engineer having examined the facility attests that one, he or she is familiar with the requirements of Part 112, the EPA requirements. Two, the engineer or their agent has visited and examined the facility. Three, the plan has been prepared in accordance with good engineering practices, including consideration of applicable industry standards and with the requirements of Part 112. Procedures for required inspections, testing have been established, and the plan is adequate for the facility. Now, I do want to mention there are some exceptions to the licensed registered professional engineer requirement. Please note, if your facility stores less than 10,000 gallons of oil, you may qualify to self-certify your SPCC plan. Now, the one big advantage of having a licensed professional engineer, and that's going to be licensed, registered in the state where he or she's developing the plan, is that engineer is putting their professional liability and responsibility on the line whenever they approve that plan. So it's additional protection for you as an operator. If you're not really sure that you're qualified to develop your own plan, you don't have a PE on site, it's always a good practice, even if it's not required, to have a PE approve your SPCC plan.